Hi, in this video you will get to know simple vector, simple matrix and simple operators, which are used to do math operations. Starting with simple vector, create a zero vector by using the constructor without any arguments. There are different ways to initialize it. For example, the init method, which is given the length of the vector, can be used. With this method, the vector is initialized with zeros. Now, create a vector with a list of doubles. If you need a vector filled with ones, you can use the method ones. Do that for v1. Use set element value to set the second value of v1 to 3. Correspondingly, use get element to get the second value of v1. Now have a look at simple matrix and create a matrix with the dimensions 2 by 3. A matrix constructed this way is initialized with zeros. Fill this matrix with a value 7. Use set element value to set the value of m to 2 at the indices 1, 0. Then 
Then use get element to get the value at the same indices. Another common basic operation on matrices is transposing it, which you can do by using the method transposed. We'll now have a look at simple operators, which gives a variety of methods to compute vector and matrix operations. We'll focus on three basic ones. Use add to sum up a given list of vectors, in this case v1 and v2. Now, compute the inner product of v1 and v2 by using multiply inner prod. At last, compute the product of m and v2 with the method multiply.